Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash Season 6. They dropped a new trailer last night. Sorry that I wasn't able to get this video out, but I'm currently packing to actually go away to Switzerland to Zurich for the weekend. So if any of you guys are there, please be sure to say hi, let me know, and maybe we can meet up. That would be cool. But anyway, so yeah. I'm finally getting around to this video, I'm going to talk about The Flash's new trailer, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so let's talk about this, this is a very exciting and new trailer, it's about 40 seconds long or so worth of footage, lots of new shots and stuff to talk about. Okay, so the first shot of the trailer is of Barry, and he's, you know, with Jay Garrick, and he's also with his mum, but we obviously don't know what versions, right? But in this scene, he actually shouts Jay. So it's been confirmed Jay Garrick's going to be in this episode. I do believe this is actually episode 2, not 1, because this would probably be after the Monitor visits Barry, and from what we've been told, the Monitor comes at the end of episode 1, so I think this is episode 2. He shouts Jay. Basically, he's seeing all these possible billions of deaths and, you know, everything, you know, changing as he says in the trailer. So then you move on, you got the crying shot of him, but also you got this mysterious shot where the drain is in focus, you know, the, it's, the camera's on ground level, everything outside of it is blurred, it's all out of focus, and there is a person walking towards the camera, seems like he's got something in his hand, I don't know who it is, but from posture and how tall he is, kind of looks like Ralph, could be someone else, could be the villain, I'm not sure. But let's move on to the next shot. The next shot is really, really amazing. This is Cisco talking, and you see Caitlin's here. I do believe that is actually Cisco right there in the scene, as well as him talking. And so they're looking at the Flash missing, vanishes in crisis, but the old version, the 2024 version of the newspaper, and he says, we gotta stop you from vanishing. So they're gonna be trying to actually figure this out, and so the whole team will know very early on, and. This is going to be a heavy focus in trying to stop Barry from going missing because they obviously all have found out about this 2019 change of crisis. Then we move on to the next shot, one of my favourite shots. Barry's here, Iris is next to him and this is after the aftermath of you know what they found out. They found out that, oh shit, crisis is coming in 2019 and yeah, they're going to have to deal with this. And so Iris in the next shot, it's a shot reverse shot, she says to Barry, so what do we do first? So I love how they're sort of going head on into trying to tackle this crisis and, you know, try and defeat whatever's coming, you know, <laughs> in the best way possible. Like, they could change the future, essentially. Okay, so then we move on. We go back to the place with Barry with Jay Garrick's helmet, and we get the confirmation right here. You see on the screen Jay Garrick's there. He's wearing some sort of lab coat or something. I don't know what version of Jay Garrick it is, but it's a version with the Jay Garrick helmet. So if this is Earth 3, what happens if Jay is actually married or works with a version of Barry's mum? Obviously it doesn't have to be Nora Allen, it could be a different version like how Jay is Jay Garrick, he's not Henry Allen like he is on Earth 1, so it would make sense if maybe she was different. So. Moving on to the next shot, we know that Godspeed is in this episode, we haven't seen any footage of Godspeed, maybe they're still working on the CGI, they've got like, just over a week, maybe they're just doing some last touch ups or something like that. But in CC Jitters, we get the shot of Caitlyn, the perspective is from behind the counter, we see all these jars and like jugs and stuff like that, I don't know what they have in a coffee shop, but they are all shaking. This is my theory, I think that this is Godspeed running around or running towards it and creating some sort of shockwave that does that because, you know, a lot of this episode should be to do with Godspeed from what we've seen, but, you know, they haven't really shown any footage yet, so that's my theory about that scene. Moving on to the next shot, this is a very important line in the trailer. So the new scientist, Chester P. Runk, is actually a comic book character, and so this is sort of a twist on him, he's sort of... I think he's a live streamer, or like, it looks like a live stream chat if you look on the right, like Dan the Man, Tech Lover, Star Wars for Life, stuff like that, right? So I'm pretty sure this is a conspiracy theory, right? And he says, welcome to a world where anything can and probably will happen, and he's got all this sort of sciencey stuff out in front. And I do believe that he's going to obviously cross paths with Team Flash, and 
I think maybe he has some sort of insight into what's going on, but he is sort of more of a conspiracy theorist. Actually, if you look on the top right corner, it says he's got 1.5 million subscribers. So yeah, like not YouTube, but like a sort of streaming platform, I guess. So I love the idea that they say, welcome to a world where anything can and probably will happen because that sort of links to crisis and how everything's going to change. You know, they can stop the future. They can still change it. But all the changes are likely to happen and it can happen, but they're going to have to really work for it. So that's a great line. All right, moving on to the next shot, we get another shot of Nora Allen, whatever version of herself she is. She's definitely not our normal Nora Allen. She's a bit like the Flashpoint version. I don't know, her hair seems a lot darker, like, and, you know, she's with Jay Garrick. It could be Earth 3, it could not be. I have no idea, but looking forward to that. We move on to a shot of Barry, and Barry's... I'm not sure where he is, he's in some sort of room, there's like a mirror, there's blinds and shit like that, but it's just a cool shot. And so then we move on and we get Caitlyn, well as Killer Frost, attacking Barry and she's got an ice dagger, she's got one of her things, she's about to stab Barry and she's in like normal clothes, so is she being taken over, is this like Godspeed or like the monitor or is it blood work, you know, controlling her blood or something? I'm not sure, very intrigued about this scene. And it goes forward, this is another freeze frame, Barry runs away as she tries to stab him. So why the hell is Killer Frost trying to kill Barry? I don't know, but she's been taken over by something it seems like. Okay, we got our first look at the new Harrison Wells, we got Iris and Cisco here. Um, they're doing something, they've detected something, cisco has got some sort of device. I think what they've detected is actually him, like a breach or something. And so he swings in on a wire very much like, you know, Indiana Jones, that is the main inspiration for this new character. He throws Cisco up against the wall and chokes him in that very same scene. We get a shot of Iris's reactions. She's very shocked by this. And, you know, Cisco's a bit more relaxed here, even though he's still getting choked out. And he says, welcome to Earth One. Great. Not another angry one talking about Harrison Wells and this new version. So looking forward to him. He's very exciting. And yeah, let's go to this line that Ira said just before that. She said, we can still change the future. And she's saying this to Barry. So, yeah, they're going to try and change the future in some way or another. And I do believe it's going to backfire pretty massively. All right. So we've seen this shot. Well, like different versions, but it's of Joe. It's a wide shot. Some cars are crashed together. Something's going on. I do think this is Godspeed because I know there was a fight with Godspeed and the Flash in the street. And this is in the middle of the street. So... I would hazard the guess this is a Godspeed versus the Flash fight in the middle of the street. I don't know how much of a role Godspeed's going to play, but still really excited to see him again, whatever version he is. Then we go to Star Labs and we see Barry, and Barry's actually in the pipeline, and we get this shot right here. He's staring at whoever's in there, and then we cut to the next shot, and it's from above, and Barry's still standing there in the same clothes. However... It's shattering. The glass is shattering. Who has the power to do that? I would argue Godspeed. You know, this new version could be more powerful. So I do think this is Godspeed. The monitor's not going to be in there. Bloodworks, not like a proper villain by now. So it only really makes sense that this is Godspeed. So yeah. Moving on to the next shot, we go to CC Jitters and we see Caitlyn. And it seems like we're in flash time or we're just in slow motion. This is my favorite shot of the trailer. So Barry's running around. You see him. And he does, it looks like he's got his new suit on. I could be wrong because he's blurred out. But something is happening and I do believe this is actually a scene with Godspeed. And this is a continuation from that shot I was talking about earlier with Caitlyn in CC Jitters. She's holding her hands out so something's going on and she's very distressed as you can see. I do believe Godspeed's attacking in CC Jitters and this is Barry saving Caitlyn. Okay, so we move on to the next shot, and this is a very mysterious shot because I'm actually not sure what's going on here. It's someone suited up. I think she has a mask on. It looks like a she from, I don't know, like the brief like moment she moves. She's punching someone, and I mean, it could be Cisco, but like Cisco doesn't wear a suit anymore. But yeah, I don't know. 
I really don't know what's going on there. Like, it may not even be in episode one or two. So, yeah. Okay, so Barry is in this sort of lab, and he's getting flung back. He's getting absolutely slammed into this thing, and, you know, sparkles are everywhere. So, I don't know. This does remind me of the Godspeed scene that we had last season in that lab. So, maybe this is a similar scene, but instead of Nora, it's Barry. Okay, so the last shot of the trailer is of Star Labs exploding and I wasn't sure if this was an old one or not but I do believe this may be one of the sort of flash forwards Barry sees and I think it could be happening and so the last line of the trailer Barry says is I have to prepare for this crisis he says something like that it's kind of hard to understand but it's something along those lines so he's going to be preparing for this crisis in the very near future Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.